Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here, your source for gaming tech, emulation, and open source news. Let's get started. All right, we'll kick things off with an interesting story, one where community voices actually seem to matter. So a while back, a content creator, or modder, or community creator by the name of What's the Status was banned by WWE from the WWE 2K24 servers. All of their mods were taken down, and they had a whole bunch of mods out there. For example, one allowing female wrestlers to compete against male wrestlers. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this ban happened on April 22nd and happened without warning. Now, that ban appeared to enrage the WWE 2K24 gaming community so much so that they had a couple of hashtags trending on Twitter. One of those was flat out free status. They were not shy in being vocal. So as a result of that, here's the latest status. WWE Games and I have met on how my mods can impact the game. We've come to an agreement and a fair one at that. Thank you guys for the support. Thanks to all of you, my ban has been lifted. And here's the official response from WWE Games. We've heard your voices and wanted to let you know we've met with status and had a productive discussion. Touching on stability concerns and performance issues related to some popular mods. As a result of this discourse, we are lifting Status's ban effective immediately, working with him to bring back some of his content, which doesn't cause stability issues. I mean, it seems obvious there was some stuff there they didn't like, and this is their way of probably keeping that stuff off of the site moving forward. Let me know your thoughts about this one in the comments below. Next up, this is great news. If you're a fan of the original Xbox, you use something like Insignia and you needed a communicator headset. These are not cheap on eBay. Even if you pick up the module alone, it can run you at least 20 to 40 bucks. What if I told you there's an open source Xbox Live communicator that has just dropped on GitHub? It's called Hawk, and apparently this thing works. They say it provides feature parity with the original communicator with the following differences. A 3.5mm TRRS jack is used to support more generic headsets. The volume wheel is replaced with a button. Volume is indicated by LED brightness. If you are curious about this one and possibly wanted to learn more about it, I'll drop a link in the description below. The firmware appears to be there, as well as all of the files needed to create a PCB. And speaking about GitHub, next up we're talking about Starfighter 3DO. And source code for this game has just popped up on GitHub. They say the GitHub repository contains the source code and resources to the 1995 3DO game. Like everything I talk about, my news is 100% open source, so I'll drop a link to it in the description below in the event that you wanted to learn more about it. Next up, we're talking about more Nintendo Switch 2 rumors. We just talked about some the other day with the magnetic Joy-Cons and the size possibly being a little bit bigger than the existing Switch. And now we've got even more rumors. They say here that Nintendo Switch 2 is expected to launch as early as the second half of this year. They also say it'll have the Tegra T239, which I think we already knew. It'll have a Samsung OLED display, with the exception that LCD models may be released first using the Sharp display. To be honest with you, I was kind of expecting the new Switch to be pushed into 2025. Let me know your thoughts about this one in the comments below. Do you think this rumor is true or do you think it's a bunch of BS? Next up, we're talking about MAME for Droid 2024. And on the Google Play Store, the latest version right now is version 0.264, which was released back in March. However, MAME for Droid 2024 is 100% free, open source, and available over on GitHub. And it just got bumped up to version 0.265. It brings it in line with the main version of MAME. If you wanted to check it out, I'll drop a link to it in the description below. If you wanted to wait, I'm assuming the Google Play Store version is going to get updated in possibly the next few days. And last up here, we're talking about The Crew. This game has been in the news a lot lately since Ubisoft decided to shut down the servers and make the game completely unplayable and then even going as far as removing access to it from people's libraries. Interestingly, there's a group of enthusiasts trying to make this game playable again, and they appear to be succeeding. So here's someone close to the source. They say they don't think the game is 100% playable from start to finish, but being able to boot into the game and being able to play the first mission is massive. 
And I would tend to agree if this footage is actually real, which I think it is. So it seems as if it's a matter of when and not if this game will be made playable again unofficially. But anyways, that is all I've got for you in this one. Straight to the point, all stuff and no fluff. We talked about a bunch today. Let me know your thoughts about absolutely any of it in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button. Check out my other videos. Don't tempt fate. Save your state.